our sponsors. The Finkley Experience, an educational consulting firm that specializes in first-generation education and which prepares high school students for college. For more information, visit their website at thefinkleyexperience.com. Father to Father Incorporated, a nonprofit organization that strengthens families through father engagement with a goal to help men in our communities to be great dads. For more information, visit their website, fathertofatherinc.org. Ablaze Entertainment. The goal of Ablaze is to take emerging artists and develop them to the next level of their career. For more information, visit their website at ablazeentertainment.net. Thank you. Everybody, this is Basha Hogue. I am your TV host on the Coach Alice, and you are watching the Michael Finkley Show. On the next Michael Finkley, from Paramount's Mayor of Kingstown, Marcus L. Brandon is with us as he gives us all the tea about his character Dietrich and so much more. Next Finkley. Everybody, welcome to the Michael Finkley Show. Thanks for joining us today. As we talk about biggest dreams, that's what we talked about on season five, and I was able to actually sing my theme song as well and produce an amazing product that I felt good about because I wanted to share my, my thoughts and my words with the world, and I was able to do that. So in talking about your biggest dreams, what are your biggest dreams? Did you already accomplish them? right? Then if you have, what is your next biggest dream, right? We're always thinking about the next thing that we can do to please self. And if pleasing self, we can then be more effective for others. I love having this conversation with individuals, especially the ones that come across my platform. And we have another guest that is doing that as well. He's following his dreams. <laughs> this conversation was incredible. We have none other than Marcus L. Brandon with us. And you probably seen him as Deidre on the Paramount series, Mayor of Kingstown. I'm telling you, he portrays this character like no other. And if you're not watching, you need to watch. So he, we talk about that and so much more. So Fink Fam, don't you dare go away. Back in a moment. Coming up, Marcus is with us. Don't you dare go away. It's your girl, Rama Montakabi, a.k.a. Peaches, on the hit show BMF on Stars, And you are watching The Michael Finkley Show. On the next Michael Finkley, you guessed it, we have the gospel duo themselves. The Fisher Girls are here. They tell us about their unique style of music and gospel, their up-and-coming singles, and so much more. Don't miss it. Next Finkley. Hey, Fink fam, it's your favorite host, Michael Finkley, and you can listen to us on CTR Media Network. Go listen in. Hello, everybody. It's Finkley from the Finkley Experience. We're an educational consulting firm that specializes in first-generation education. So we assist students with their college and career endeavors. We train school administrators on the state of first-generation students. And also, we partner with colleges and universities to assist their first-generation population for easy transition from high school to college. So if you're looking for a presenter or a speaker that presents on these topics and so much more, visit our website at thefinkleyexperience.com and learn about all that we do. We're looking forward to working with you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. Now, y'all, my next guest, you have seen him on his recurring role as Dietrich in Mayor of Kingstown. He is Marcus L. Brandon. How are you, Marcus? Hey, how you doing, my man? I'm, I'm just enjoying the day, enjoying this time, and, and happy to be here. 
sir. Listen, I'm so glad that we have this time together. Uh, you know, so much is happening, so much is going on in the world, um, mm -hmm. especially that look like us. So if we can proudly say that we're among the land of the living, I'm yes. sorry to say that. I yes. really say that. Uh, so Marcus, did you always know growing up that you wanted to be in this entertainment field? Um, yeah, I think for the most part I have. I've been wanting to be an actor since I was like a, a little toddler. Since the times when when my parents used to throw me in front of the TV because that was our nanny. You know, they didn't have a yeah. nanny. It was like, hey, go go watch something real quick while, <laughs> while we need an hour to do something. And just being engulfed by all the actors on several TV shows and, and seeing how it influenced me. You know, sometimes, you know, you watch a, a kung fu movie as a kid. Next thing you know, you think you're a kung fu martial artist or, or a ninja, you know, those type of things. And I realized that uh, I wanted to be that person in that screen that influenced people in that way. You know, being able to use your imagination and create this magic. And ever since then, I, I was like, yeah, I think this is I, I would tell people all the time I wanted to be an actor, you know, ever since then. So nothing else. Nothing else. There, there were some short stints uh, with different things. I mean, I, I randomly, I, th I, I just like to have different experiences, which is why I like being an actor because I can live different lives through the screen. But there was a time when I thought about being a dentist, but then I was like, I don't want to go to school that long. I thought about being a lawyer. I was like, I don't think I could be a lawyer to to go both sides. And then uh, football, football. Uh, became a passion. wasn't as passionate about it as I am about acting, but I happened to be somewhat good at it. It, it paid for my college. Uh, got to try out, pursue it professionally, um, and then one of the teams uh, wanted to send me to to Canada to play, and that's where it ended for me. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not going to go to Canada and play and play in the cold." I think, I think this is where my 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 football <laughs> days stop. So I was like, "I want to be an actor. I've always wanted to be an actor. Even if I went to the NFL, succeeded in the NFL, I gave it like a five year max because you know I want to protect my body. And you know, some of those I know have friends who are veterans of the NFL, and they, you know, they get they they sit down for ten minutes and they can barely move, and that and that they're not old, you know. And I was like, yeah, that's not the life." For me, you know, to each his own. But for me, it just wasn't what I I had planned. So it's like I want to be an actor. And the universe guy was telling me I need to move to one of the meccas, either LA or New York. I chose New York, and the rest is history. Bing bada boom. We see that. Yeah. We see <laughs> the history in the making. Uh, we we always see the the glitz and glamour, right? Mm -hmm. Of the the actors that we love to watch on television or in our movies. Mm -hmm. um as well and we never talk about the struggle what oh, was marcus's struggle to get ooh. where you are today oh man don't don't have me start a testimony on here bro. <laughs> <Say so. laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> i um my parents come from from humble beginnings so we didn't have a lot growing up and, and Bless them, they did everything to shield us from feeling poor or feeling like we didn't have money. Um, they worked like, I see my my parents work like three jobs each. You know, my parents getting up at like three in the morning and then come home until nighttime, you know, missing them. And coming out of that, I was like, I want to change not only my life, but my family lives and be able to provide a better life for, for me and my loved ones. And, you know, I... I used to have a uh, authority problem. I used to have a problem with authority and I'm not sure where it stemmed from, but in, in most of my like teenage years, 20, 20s, I had a problem with authority with somebody telling me how to do something and I would automatically put a wall up and be like, nah, 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 you can't tell me, you know, I'm doing my way. And a lot of the, and a coach, one of my football coaches set me down. He was like, yo, you're talented. You're an amazing football player. You you just can go so far in life, even outside of football. But if you do not get out of your own way, you will not achieve anything that you dream of because you are the one that's standing in your own way. And I really took that to heart. And I said, and I, I have so much respect for him. Uh, his name is Art Kaufman. So much respect for him. And I don't think he realizes how much saying that to me changed my life. And because of that respect for him, I was like, he must be telling the truth. It must 
must be something. And I was young, you know, your ego, you know, we bring the ego and I would say that ego was probably my biggest obstacle, just getting past my ego. I had hardships and adversity, like with financial things or, or sometimes playing with the law here and there, being a troublemaker, but it all boiled down to me being able to keep my ego in check. You know, which is hard for a lot of human beings. We we naturally have we're multifaceted human beings, and that ego is not not a joke. But once I was able to conquer my ego, it didn't go away. I still have an ego, but once I was able to somewhat keep that box in, and realize that I was in my way, that's when uh, paths started to flourish for me. I started to see a little bit more clear, and I was able to overcome a lot of the troubles that I was causing myself. You know. Yeah, it's that's what I love about life, though, right? It, we have our ups and downs, smiles and frowns, all that good stuff. But it all works together for our good to realize and to get to the point of the person we are today. Yeah. Right? We don't appreciate it at times, but when we look yeah. back on it and reflect, <laughs> oh, wow, oh, okay, <laughs> I get it now. That's, that's why it. I to get to okay, cool, I get mm -hmm. it. Get it, and some some of us are fortunate to learn that. Some of yeah. us are not, and some oh, of us yeah. get the element quicker than others, right? Some mm -hmm. of us get a small, a song shorter than, faster than others as well. So it's just it just depends on the individual. What did you learn from this character? Because I talked to a lot of actors and actresses, and they play these roles that are sometimes opposite of them. But in mm -hmm. the midst of them playing, it's like, well, that's kind of like me, or oh, I like that now. What yeah. did you learn from this role? I hear it's a never way and Hi, I'm Alma. Hi, and I'm Raquel. And we are the Fisher Girls. And you're watching the Michael Finkley Show. To be in your career. To stand in your glory. Hey, did you get your merch yet? You know, Michael Finkley merch. Visit our website, michaelfinkleyshow.com, and click Finkley Store. You won't be disappointed, I'm telling you. Mm, that's good. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome to Father to Father. The mission of Father to Father Charleston, South Carolina is to help fathers in the low country area of South Carolina to be a positive and consistent presence in their children's lives. Father to Father provides community-based programs and support groups for fathers free of charge. They also help fathers connect to other resources they need so they can meet their responsibilities and secure their parental rights. Father to Father offers job coaching and employment connections that benefit fathers. Father to Father is a resource for local organizations that want to provide family support and father friendly services. If this program is a fit for you, visit our location in North Charleston, South Carolina and meet our friendly staff here to help and assist. Or visit our website at fatherstofatherinc.org. And I see that because you're well disciplined, right? Mm -hmm. and, you're, and you love what you do in this amazing craft. You get to land roles and commercials mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, voiceovers, all these mm -hmm. different assignments that you do. And that leads us to Mayor of Kingstown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you're terrific in this, sir. <laughs> um, you know, Barry, your, your character, um, Diedrich, um, tell us about your character. And is Diedrich like Marcus? Or is Mark Dietrich? <laughs> I, I would say, um, I would say every every great actor pours a little bit of themselves into every character. But with that said, I, I was I'll lay the foreground for D Diedrich is what they would describe as a as a dangerous man, a very intimidating, dangerous, lethal guy who can you know create and do the worst. Of, of your nightmares that you can imagine. However, Diedrich has already been through a lot of, of a lot of hard times. He's the leader of the bloods, rival to 
um, Bunny, who was one of the lead characters on the show, who's the leader of the Crips. So Diedrich's been through some things, and he he they haven't touched on in, in the show yet, but he he turned the leaf a little bit. I mean, he's still involved, he's still the leader of the Bloods, but he's more trying to trying to go on a more uh, you know lawful path where he doesn't have to necessarily break the law or do stuff that it would have been stereotypical of of a gang leader to do in a crime organization so he has that battle kind of like he's been there he's he's been to prison he's been in violent situations but he also knows the benefits of going the right path of of how if he creates a, a legit business what he can do for himself in his community. So he battles with that a lot of times. He has a, a good balance of the good and the evil. And I would say that that I can relate to that in that in that aspect of a balance between the duality of a human being. You know, as 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 positive as I think I am, as, as good of a guy that I think I am, there's you know, you always have these thoughts. You know, you have negative thoughts, you have thoughts, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I would never do that, but sometimes I used to think, man, if I only had a hundred thousand dollars and I just gave it to so and so and they go do whatever with it and just bring me back my money. I won't ask questions. Just give it to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. You know, you you have these things that you you want to do for your own um uh, your your own protection and, and advancement in life. And sometimes the the some paths that are not lawful seem easier from the outside looking in. And you and and I know I don't battle with that now but i say all that to say that we have those thoughts and we have negative thoughts and positive thoughts so diedrich battles between that and, and i do as well sometimes even on a simple simpler level of being in the actor industry seeing some people getting roles that i wanted and being like he's not that good or i should have got that one and realizing that you know things things happen as they they are meant to be at least i believe so and for whatever reason i didn't get that role for uh, one or another thing, and I might have missed that role to get mayor of Kingstown. You know, it, it might have been it, there was a reason, and it might be above my head, but that's that's not for me to stay in that place and worry about because I need to focus on my current blessings. I need to focus on things that are happening for me and be grateful for those things. And I know so much more is coming, and I'm excited about that. But um, Diedrich, Diedrich is a, is a dangerous man. If you haven't seen the shows. Please watch. Uh, you'll see a little bit of his evolution as they introduce him. They they have been making him look like a pretty cool dude, um, and I can't wait to see see wait for everyone else to see the rest of the season because um, I think he's a good contrast to Bunny. Yeah, yeah. We we are excited to see the rest of it, um, and I'm so glad uh, even more change to the character um, mm-hmm. is coming um, because I feel that that makes him more three dimensional. Right? We mm-hmm. change. Yeah, uh, I, we yeah. definitely change. We have that power and mindset to change. Um, what did you learn from this character? Because I talked to a lot of actors and actresses, and they play these roles that are sometimes opposite of them. But in mm-hmm. the midst of them playing, it's like, well, that's kind of like me. Or, oh, I like that now. What yeah. did you learn from this role? Um, you can bring it to Marcus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, Diedrich, we are both like pretty reserved human beings both Diedrich and I but I would say the one thing I I learned from playing Diedrich is you know he's not he's not seen as a villain in this show like that in that way I guess a villain to to Bunny's character but playing villains are villains are people who are perceived as evil or dangerous you learn that um there's a good in all of them there's there's good intentions behind their actions there's there's these characters don't necessarily see themselves as as bad people yeah. because they have their reasons for why they act the way they do and why they do the actions that they perform. And in learning that, I think I can learn to have a little bit more compassion for human beings who may not necessarily travel a path that I see as being right or do things that I would, wouldn't necessarily do, but people have their reasons. Um, and I'm not saying you should forgive people if they do something bad or you should automatically be excuse it, but it just gives me more of an open mind to not just close the door as soon as I see somebody do a certain action versus trying to understand why 
they are doing that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There's always a, always a reasoning that sometimes we don't even know about, right? Yeah. Actions. Um, what's next for Marcus? You know, this is success right now, but yeah. what does success later look like for Marcus? Oh, I, I hope they continue to expand on Diedrich and in, into the, the further seasons, but um, I also have an indie film I'm about to shoot in uh, the Philippines, which is going to be a crazy adventure. I'm looking forward to that. It's been a couple weeks there. I've never been to the Philippines, so it should be a fun, fun time. Uh, so, you know, and I've always wanted to do a war film um, and, and play a soldier, so I think that's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to that. I am, I'm writing and producing my own stuff, so hopefully you see some stuff you know i'm being inspired by all the the, the isa rays and and the quintas and and um, aren't we <laughs> yeah black <laughs> they, magic at its best <laughs> yeah they are killing it and seeing their journeys and seeing what they are able to create from from nothing um and seeing how far they could go within a certain amount of time is very 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 inspiring and, and especially as black women you know um and seeing them grab and, and make their mark and carve out their space in this industry is beyond phenomenal. Uh, and people, I, I know people can see and see how tough it is, but they're doing what some would revere as impossible not too long ago. So I want, I want to, I want to get in. They inspire me. I want to do the same, create my own stuff, produce my own stuff and, and make more spaces for people, melanated people like us. Cause just having that more material on screen, you never know who gets inspired, man. You never know. You, know. you, you don't know. And that's why we do it. Right. We do it to fulfill our passions, but yeah. and to pay it forward as right. well for the next individual that's behind us. So exactly. Please keep us updated. I will. I will, man. It's very important. Same, same for your platform. You know, having people like us on this on this show, and you never know who's going to see it. Might be a little market somewhere watching and being like, "Oh, you never know." Like that guy. Yeah, for sure. You know, so we do our best, and again, we continue to pay it forward. Marcus, how can the Fink Fam follow you on social media? And also, too, please give us the details of how to watch USD Drick. On Mayor of Kingstown. Uh, definitely. Catch me. IG is the best place to get in touch with me. Marcus Lorenzo Brandon. Um, all one word. I'm trying to find a shorter handle. Haven't been able to find it. If you have suggestions, reach out to me and say, hey, do this. Uh, Marcus. Inbox it, y'all. Inbox it. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Mayor of Kingstown on Paramount Plus right now, airing every Sunday. You'll catch me as Diedrich. Um, if you haven't missed it, you just missed some cool episodes. The recent episode directed by Tasha Smith killed it. Um, check that That's out. Awesome. Yes, catch me also on Peacock on uh, a show called uh, Poker Face. I'm in episode three, playing Sheriff McDonald with Lil Rel and Natasha Leon. Catch me there. Um, and other than that, keep your eye out for me. I'm definitely planning to be all over your TV screen. All right, because you already are. So yeah. we're just we're praying <laughs> that God continues to enlarge your territory. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, he's family now. He's he's Marcus L. Brandon. Thank you for being with us. And just being who you are as an individual, thank you for being a role model to individuals as well. Um, your brother now, your family now, if I can do anything, my platform can do anything for you, please reach out. Thank you. I appreciate it. All love, man. All love. All love. Think fam, don't go away. Back home. I'm Joey Marie Urbina. And I play Yamara in Snowfall. And you're watching The Michael Finkley Show. CTR Media Network is now accepting new podcasters to join our growing network that's reaching 350 million global listeners. Have you heard? CTR Media Network offers podcast production, podcast training, distribution, and product placement. Book us for your next event or schedule an interview with CTR Media Network podcasters today. To learn more, go to ctrmedianetwork.com. Here we are. I want to talk to you about vision. So one thing about vision that I've learned, bro, vision is, is something that you see down the road, right? You get me? Vision is something that you're seeing down the road that you're trying to get to. Something that you see that is before you 
something that's not here yet, but I'm working towards. And a lot of times people don't have vision. And when you don't have vision in your life, you don't have nothing to look for. You don't have nothing to go after. You don't have nothing to chase. And as long as you live your life with no vision, you will have no purpose in life. You will have no reason to be great. You will have no reason to get up and do better. And so, therefore, you, what's the word? You complacent with just sitting down. You complacent with just being there. You feel me? So, you have to understand that you need vision in your life. And with your vision, along with it, go come with purpose. It go come with discipline. It go come with consistency. It go come with all the things you need to be successful. And so the first thing first is with your vision, figure out what you want in life. Honestly, figure out what you want. Figure out the kind of person you want to be and how you're going to get to that. Because vision is like a road. It's just like a road. We going down the road and I'm looking way down the road. But I'm back here. I need to figure out how I'm going to get down there. What speed I have to go to. If I got a swirl of potholes. If I got stop signs. If I got lights. Like you have to look at all those things. And be able to see the vision and focus on the vision. So you can get through the stop signs. So you can get through the lights. So you can get through the potholes. So when you retransfer that to life. And life is a big road. It's a journey. And you got to focus on your vision because your vision is going to allow you to get through the storms. Your vision is going to allow you to get through the setbacks. Your vision is going to allow you to get through the heartbreaks. Your vision is going to allow you to go through whatever you need to get to when you focus on that and you all in. When you all in on your vision, you're not worried about the storms. If it's raining, I'm going to put on a raincoat. I'm going to put on my rain boots and I'm going to keep going down this road until I get down there, until I achieve it. Until this vision becomes reality. See, a lot of y'all just still in that point to where you're not moving. You need to get moving. You need to get moving towards that vision. You need to get moving towards those goals. You need to get moving towards that, that house you want. You need to get moving towards the life that you want to have. Your time is leaving. We're not getting any younger. We're only getting older by the days. So you don't have time to waste. Chase your vision. Is your Louisiana girl Denise Boutte coming at you on the Michael Finkley show and you guys may know me from why did I get married as the really sweet girl Trina or maybe me Browns as Sasha but I'm coming at you guys from the great state of California but originally from Louisiana because you know I can't lose that southern girl baby all right you guys stay tuned to Michael Finkley <laughs> On the next Michael Finkley, you guessed it, we have the gospel duo themselves. The Fisher Girls are here. They tell us about their unique style of music and gospel, their up and coming singles, and so much more. Don't miss it. Next Finkley. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. I hope that you learned something from this amazing interview. Thank you so much, Marcus, for being with us, being who you are as an individual, and just being that person that we can look up to, right? Um, if we were wanting to accomplish a major dream, and that's what you're doing, you're, you're doing it up. So much success to you, my friend. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Michael Finkley Show. Ring the bell for notification. We'll see you in email saying, hey, new content is available. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And for more information about what we do, visit us our website visit our website at michaelfinkleyshow.com always think fam thank you so much for watching and please remember to always always pursue your dreams have a good one <laughs>